All right, hey folks, Jesse with Southern Reels Fishing, and it is another beautiful Saturday. And I'm out here with some friends. Now, this isn't gonna be like my typical videos. I'm not showing any launch or B-roll footage, stuff like that. I'm still gonna show the tackle I'm using, the techniques I'm using. Um, I will tell you, we are all out here fishing for redfish today, uh, bull reds specifically. They are coming out of the Chesapeake Bay right now pretty heavy. They're being caught everywhere. I mean, it's no secret they're all around the place right now. But, you know, guys are, you know, pretty, uh, how would you say, almost crazy about giving spots away, especially about these fish. And I respect that. I really do. I will say that we're uh, in the Chesapeake Bay and we are fishing in about 25 foot of water. And it's just this large, huge flat right here that we're fishing. We're gonna start out together probably, and then split up and just stay in touch by cell phone, see what we come up with. So that's what's going on. We're pretty much using live crab for bait, probably having it or quartering it, depending. I'm using some bottom sweeper jig as long as I can with the current. Wish me some luck. Uh, hopefully I can get my first bull red in the boat today. That'd be awesome. Anyway, we'll see. I'm not sure. Nice, man. You're a monster. Yeah, it's so I man, I've gotten it a few feet off the bottom and then it goes right back down. He's gotta get tired eventually. God almighty. Well folks, sad moment for me once again. I had a huge red on. I know it was a red this time. It had the head shake, everything. It was a monster. It broke me off. Highly frustrating. Caught it on my flounder pole. It was way, way too much for that pole. I only got 20 pound test on it, 20 pound leader. Just snapped the leader. I'll get up here and try again. I upgraded to my tall pole this time. Got 40 pound braid on it, a much stiffer backbone. Try again, man. I think it's probably the most excited and the most disappointed I've ever been in 20 minutes. <laughs> Damn it. Serious, that was like a bucket list fish for me, man. All right, folks, fight update. It's 10 minutes later, I still got them on. They're pretty much taking me for a ride, trying to stay over top of them. But I got much heavier setup here. 40 pound braid, 40 pound leader. To be truthful with you, I am not scared to tighten a drag up. I don't want to lose this fish, especially after that one a while ago. That was a 20 minute fight. Just break it off. My heart broke with that line, to be honest with you. All right, folks, here we are. It's been about another 10 minutes. I'm 20 minutes into this now. He's finally coming up. Yeah, it's a red. <clears throat> oh, oh, thank the Lord. Look at that. Oh my God. Just got stuff living on him. 49 inches. I'll take it. Had them hooked just as pretty. <laughs> Ready? Ready, big guy? There you go. Well, folks, I am on a happy camper right now. Let me tell you that. That is something I've been wanting to catch for almost three years, pretty much since I got back into fishing. I have been dying to catch a bull drum. Finally got one. Lost one earlier today. Got lucky and got a second chance at it and landed it. Caught it on this uh, Shimano Travala offshore jigging rod, Actress AC 101 HBT reel, low profile reel, and a one ounce bottom sweeper in white, half of a blue crab on it. Worked like a champ. Took me forever to land it. Honestly, it was about the most that this reel would probably ever want. It was a bit much for the size of the fish. It's probably healthier for that fish to get them up quicker, but I just, I couldn't do it. Literally, it wasn't enough drag on there to do it. I, I do need a bigger reel and rod setup for these type of fish. My lesson learned, still a good release. He swam away healthy and happy and probably about as wore out as I am right now. So anyway, that's what's up. I'm gonna get back up here and catch up with my guys. 
you know, the current's kind of picked up out here. Well, that ounce ain't cutting it anymore, so I tried this two ouncer that I got. It's a different type of jig. Honestly, it's even not enough. So, I don't know, I'm kind of just skipping it along the bottom at this point and feeding the crab to whoever's nibbling on it. Yogi hooked it up, first trip out, got him a massive sheep. It might even be a citation. Dude, that's a nice catch, man. Hold it up, bro. Congrats. Go. Yeah, nice man. One. Heck yeah, man. Awesome. All right, buddy. Like. Oh, yeah. Man, how, how's it going? It's number four, right? Three. That's awesome. You gotta pump it, man. I'm trying to get this one out quicker. I'm on up here. Yeah, folks, I seriously gotta get a bigger reel for this. This low profile reel just is not cutting it. I've been fighting, it's been about 15, actually, it's probably been about 20 minutes total now. I've been fighting this fish. I'm trying to apply some thumb pressure to the spool just to assist the drag and get them up. There's that beautiful silhouette. Good. Got him I. Yeah, baby. Woo! Ah. Ah. Sorry, it makes me happy. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. There you are 50 inches. Ah. Beautiful. Hmm. All right, easy in. good yeah he's good well folks today was a unbelievable day for me i have to admit i am so freaking happy right now i've been wanting to catch bull reds like that as long as i've been looking and fishing magazines and instagram and all these places where i see these guys fishing and i just did some research and talked to a bunch of friends kind of followed my gut instinct just took my uh time with some crab and just worked the area and I ended up hooking three. The uh, first one broke me off because my tackle was way too light. Upgraded to the heaviest pole that I had with me and managed to land the next two. Unbelievable fish. Unbelievable fight. I am beyond happy right now. Stoked. I'm tired. That wore me out. So I don't pedal on back up here to my friends. Give them whatever bait I got left. Load this thing up and carry my butt home. See y'all. Peace.